The Carolina Panthers say see you later to Spartanburg. Hey, everybody, I'm Steve Vigil. Kelly Bardock has the night off. This afternoon, the Panthers held their final full practice on the fields at Walford College. They'll hold a quick walkthrough tomorrow morning before they fly off to Philadelphia. Did you see something good or bad from him last week? I saw something very good. What I saw was him not getting rattled, staying confident. As a former DB, I'd hate playing against quarterbacks like Troy Smith because of that. You do a great job covering, the guys up front are taking care of business, knocking balls down, getting interceptions in that department, but then comes this. The ability to scramble plus strong arm and his maturity equals big plays. The play is never over with a quarterback like Troy Smith, and that's the added dimension that he brings to this Ohio State. When I hear the name Deshaun Jackson, I think of a player that will break you down and shake you. He's incredibly talented. He's multi-dimensional. And what I mean by that is you can stick him in the slot, work against the, the linebackers. And the, the one thing I think about him is he has it. You've heard it, it. Incredible talent. Israel poured four years of setbacks into the next game too, erupting on Southern Miss. Yeah, I had a punt return for a touchdown. I had an interception for like 60 or 70. 80 yards or something like that for a touchdown. And uh, I picked up a fumble recovery for like 35 yards for a touchdown. But that, that was my, my best college game. Anytime a non-offensive player can score three touchdowns in a game, I, I think by far that was my best. Today, this New England defense, only one time did they really get caught where they didn't have somebody to take advantage of it. That was Rick Meyer's first completion. He's going for his second one now. Ward down the side, intercepted. Steve Israel picked it off. They gain control of the football in the one or two yard line. Good job by Steve Israel. So the Patriots will start from the two yard line. Steve Israel picks off the Rick Meyer pass. He'll be back. Third down and 11 now from the 46 yard line. Marino guns that and it is intercepted at the 32 by Steve Israel. Intended for Lamar Thomas. Israel got in front of him and picks off Marino. Right. They're expecting play action pass from the backside of the quarterback. Steve Israel, the corner, comes in. Tom Tupa never. Third and five, young under pressure, and down he goes. And that was Steve Israel with the fourth sack of the game on a corner blitz. A leader has to have energy, a leader has to be someone that energizes others. A leader has to be someone who has an edge to them, you know, how to persevere, has a backbone, grittiness. And then the final E, the fourth one would be to execute. A leader has to know how to execute, get the deal done, make the sell, close the deal, rally troops together, to end up with a positive result. Well, I just want you to know, in the press box, talking to the general manager of the New Orleans Saints, Mickey Loomis. Mickey Loomis was head of player personnel, I believe, when I was playing with the New Orleans Saints. Now he's the general manager. I said, Mickey, talk to me a little bit about the impact Drew Brees not only had on the offense, but he had on the entire team in New Orleans. Mickey Loomis' next words to me were, Steve, not only did Drew Brees have an impact on the offense and on our entire team, it was more important than that and bigger than that. He had an impact on our entire city. And then, as you know, the rest is history. Two years ago, they go on and win a Super Bowl. Why do I bring this up? Why do I bring Jack Welch and his four E's into it? Because I truly believe in a lot of people that's responsible for building 